Hey, good morning, everyone. The sun is just coming up. I'm here in Arcadia, California, and I had heard about this River Phoenix Memorial Garden. And since Halloween is coming up, I thought this would be a good time to visit a few grave sites and memorials to famous people who died on Halloween. And if you're planning to visit a cemetery on Halloween, you might want to start with some of their grave sites, as well as a few other grave sites I'm going to share with you today. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and grave sites. Phoenix died from a drug overdose in West Hollywood, California, just outside of the Viper Room nightclub in West Hollywood on Halloween in 1993. He was cremated and his ashes were scattered, but he does have this beautiful memorial where fans can visit here in the Los Angeles area. He was only 23 years old at the time of his death, and it's hard to believe that it's been more than 25 years now since his death. The memorial is located here at the Methodist Hospital, right across the street from the famous Santa Anita racetrack. And I was told by a security guard that the gates are not open to the public, but you can certainly see and visit the memorial from outside the gates. And a subscriber to this channel recently left a comment to let me know that in various interviews, River Phoenix said that he had a special love for the city of Arcadia. So that helps explain the location of this memorial. And it was donated by his manager, Iris Burton. She's not as famous as her husband, but Three Stooges fans will recognize the name Helen Howard as the wife of Mo Howard. Helen Schoenberger Howard died October 31st, 1975, at the age of 75, in West Los Angeles, California. Mo died on May 4th of 1975, and Helen died less than six months later. They were married for nearly 50 years, and she's laid to rest in the crypt just to the right of Moe's crypt. They are interred at Hillside Memorial Park, just inside the front gates to the left, in the very first outdoor mausoleum in the Garden of Memories in the Court of Love. Now, what I find especially interesting about Helen Howard is that according to Mo Howard's Wikipedia page, Helen was a cousin of Harry Houdini, and Harry Houdini also died on Halloween. So I wonder what the odds are of two famous cousins both dying on Halloween. Last year at Halloween, I tried to visit the gravesite of character actor Chubby Johnson, who's supposed to be buried here at Woodlawn Cemetery in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find his grave. Johnson appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows, mostly westerns, and you might recognize him from shows like Maverick, Sugarfoot, Bonanza, Gunsmoke, The Rifleman, Death Valley Days, and many others. He died on October 31st, 1974, in Hollywood, California, at the age of 71. If anyone watching is able to find and photograph or film his gravesite, I'll put my email address down below in case you'd like to send it to me to share in part two of this video that I'll share with you next Halloween. Please make sure to film in the horizontal format though, which is the format of videos, as you see here. Actor John Houseman is probably best remembered for his Academy Award winning performance in the 1973 film The Paper Chase. He also reprised the role in 1978 for the TV series. He died on October 31st, 1988, at the age of 86, in Malibu, California. He was cremated and has no final resting place to visit at this time. Indira Gandhi was the first female Prime Minister of India and served from 1966 to 1977, and then again from 1980 to 1984 until she was assassinated by her own bodyguards on October 31st, 1984, at the age of 66. She was cremated and has no final resting place to visit. But I do believe she has a memorial, so if any of you have visited and would like to email me photos or videos, again, I'll put my email address down below. But it's just for photos and videos, not for emails. If you want to communicate, please do that in the comments section below. Ring Lardner Jr. was a journalist and screenwriter blacklisted by the Hollywood Film Studios during the Red Scare of the 1940s and 50s. In 1942, he won an Academy Award for original screenplay for the movie Woman of the Year, and then in 1970, won another Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay for the movie MASH. 
He died on October 31st, 2000 in New York City at the age of 85. He was cremated and also has no final resting place to visit. And here are a few more famous people who are no longer with us who were born on Halloween. Cowgirl and actress Dale Evans, whose real name was Frances Octavia Smith, was born on Halloween in 1912 in Uvalde, Texas. She died February 7, 2001 in Apple Valley, California at the age of 88. She's laid to rest at Sunset Hills Memorial Park next to her husband, Roy Rogers. And until I started doing a little bit of research for this vlog, I hadn't realized that actor Michael Landon was also born on Halloween. He was born on October 31st, 1936 in Forest Hills, New York and died July 1st, 1991 in Malibu, California. Sadly, he was only 54 years old at the time. He's laid to rest here in this private family mausoleum at Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. Just 10 minutes away at Holy Cross Cemetery, also in Culver City, is the final resting place of comic actor John Candy. Candy was born in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada on October 31st, 1950 and died March 4th, 1994 in Durango City, Mexico at the young age of 43. I wonder how many times in his life he heard jokes about him being Halloween candy. More than likely, he was the one making the jokes. Some of you may remember that back in March of this year, I visited the final resting place of actor David White, who played Larry Tate on the TV show Bewitched. And I'm happy to say that Rick Brawley, a subscriber to this channel, sent me photos of his visit to the final resting places of Agnes Moorhead and Paul Lynn. Bewitched fans will remember that Moorhead played Endora and Paul Lynn played Uncle Arthur on the show. Agnes Moorhead died on April 30th, 1974, at the age of 73, from uterine cancer in Rochester, Minnesota. Her crypt is located in the mausoleum at Dayton Memorial Park in Dayton, Ohio. Paul Lynn died from a heart attack at the young age of 55 in Beverly Hills, California on January 11th, 1982. He's laid to rest at Amity Cemetery in Amity, Ohio. And although neither of them were born or died on Halloween, I can't think of two grave sites I'd rather visit on Halloween than these two. Rick also sent me this photo of comic actor John Belushi's gravesite. With the old timey skull and crossbones on his headstone, this has to be one of the most fun celebrity gravesites I've seen. Sadly, Belushi also died very young. He was only 33 years old when he died from drug intoxication in Hollywood, California on March 5th, 1982. Fans will remember him as one of the seven original cast members of the long-running TV show Saturday Night Live, as well as for movies like National Lampoon's Animal House and The Blues Brothers. Thanks, Rick, for sharing these great photos with all of us today. And I also want to thank Lent Nugent and his partner, or other half as he calls her, Frida Griffiths, for sending me these great photos and videos from the gravesite of legendary Led Zeppelin drummer, John Henry Bonzo Bonham. Stairway to Heaven by the English rock band Led Zeppelin is one of my all-time favorite rock songs. Ever since it was released in 1971, it's been considered to be one of the greatest rock songs of all time by just about every music poll that's ever been taken. And the band's drummer, John Bonham, is considered to be one of the most influential and greatest rock drummers of all time. And look at all the items fans have left at his gravesite. I've never seen this many drumsticks at any other gravesite before. Fans like Lent and Frida obviously are still visiting his grave today. In case you're wondering, Frida is the one behind the video camera. Back in the 1960s, Bonham used to live in the town of Dudley, which is not far from the cemetery. And Dudley just happens to be Lent's hometown. According to reports, following a night of heavy drinking, Bonham accidentally died in his sleep from pulmonary aspiration on September 25, 1980, in Clewer, Berkshire, England, at the young age of 32. He was cremated and his ashes are buried here at St. Michael's Churchyard in Rushock, Worcester, England. And I sure hope I pronounced that correctly. 
And I'd like to thank my latest Patreon supporters, Rick Whitehead, Walter Tomaszewski, and Eric Watkins. Thanks so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. So if you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you haven't already subscribed, just uh, subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload uh, my next video like this. And if you did like today's video, you might also like one of the videos here. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.